So one thing we'll note, though, in our database is um, we've copied it, the, the, the Postgres database to our local MySQL database. But we have this table here, theaters, that really doesn't relate to anything. And we're missing a table in here. We need to have some way to relate theaters to, to movies. And typically, the, you know, what drives that is that a, a theater will show a movie for a particular time range. It'll have a start and an end date. So we're going to add in a table called Movie Run that says, here's when that, uh, when that, uh, that, that theater showed that movie. So I can click the new table icon, and my arrow turns to a crosshair. And I just click there, and I can fill in the information about that table. So I'm going to call it Movie Run. And it's a list of showing dates by theater. And I click OK, and you'll note I now have a table with nothing in it. So I can add uh, uh, columns either by clicking the Insert Column icon here. And I'm going to put something in called Movie ID. It'll be an integer. Click OK. Or I can just you know hit C, my shortcut key, and I can keep adding them. So I'll Theater ID integer as well. And I'm going to have a uh, start start run. That'll be a date. And end run. That'll be a date as well. So I've now created a, a table that says for this movie in this theater, here's the date it started, here's the date it ended. I need to establish a relationship. And clearly, I can't use a movie ID that doesn't exist in the movie table, and I can't use a theater ID that doesn't exist in the theater table. So we have a number of buttons that allow us to uh, define relationships. So I'm going to click the relationship button. And in the case of the theater, it's the theater ID from theaters related to the theater ID uh, on the movie run. And you'll note here that uh, I could have a theater that has no movies. That's fine. But every movie, uh, every theater ID in my movie run should relate back to a single theater uh, ID in the theaters. And I'll do the same for movies. Again, clicking the movie ID in the movies table to the movie ID in the theater table. So now we've generated this new table, but the table only exists in my, uh, in my playpen here. What I need to do is uh, somehow add it in to uh, my local MySQL database. Now I can't go and forward engineer anymore because I've already got all of these tables in there. In fact, I may have loaded data in, so I don't want to blow it all out and restart. So there's a very interesting, cool feature in um, Architect that allows me to compare my data models. So um, the older model is clearly my physical database. That's my local MySQL database. And what I want to do is compare that to my current project. And I can output this in a couple of ways. If I output it in English descriptions, what you'll see, and I, I find this a bit confusing for myself, but uh, uh, what it'll tell you is what, you know, in my local uh, database, my old database needs to be changed in order to make it um, consistent with what's in my playpen. And conversely, I can look at my playpen, which is the new project, and see what needs to be changed to make it consistent with my old one. However, since I'm a, you know, I know a, a SQL, SQL, and I can work uh, with it, I can actually uh, generate the SQL statements that will provide um, uh, provide the uh, the the uh, uh, the uh, DDLs or the, the create statements or the, the SQL statements to actually uh, make my physical database resemble or be consistent with my uh, logical or my playpen my project database model. So looking at this, I, I'll point something out that's a bit of a, an interesting quirk, and it's really because of um, the way that my SQL works. We've got a create table and an alter statement that uh, generates my movie run and then adds the comment in, which, which uh, you know, 
list of showing dates by theater, but you also notice that there's a bunch of uh, constraint uh, 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 alter table uh, constraint uh, statements added in here, and that's really a function of uh, of MySQL. Uh, Postgres is uh, very, uh, uh, I guess, uh, uh, adherent to relational requirements. Um, MySQL, my ISAM database uh, engine is not. So what happens is when it first generates those constraints, MySQL will let you run them and it just completely ignores them. So when I go back and say, hey, I want to compare this, it says, oh, hold on a second. You, uh, you know, these constraints aren't here anymore, so let me rerun them. And that's why you see these occurring. Anyhow, if I click Execute, and again here I can copy this stuff, run it somewhere else, I can save this and do it later, or I can execute the statements right now. When I click the execute, um, you'll see it successfully executed nine out of nine statements. The only ones we really care about are the create table and the alter table. So we can also uh, refresh the data to pick up uh, the additional information that came in. And you'll note my movie run is now in my local MySQL database wasn't there before.